My goal is I want to reduce this meeting down to one hour, eventually. Uh, I want to get us in and out of my ten. But I want to give you two things, very, very critical, very, very important, and then I'm going to get you out of here. I meant, at the beginning, I asked how many of you guys wanted to have a better year this year and intending to change it. And most of you have already started making the changes. So I wrote this down. I wrote 2011. 2011 can, res can represent the turning point in your business. 2011 can, can represent the turning point in your business. Okay, and then I thought this thought. A year is too long to be a turning point. <clears throat> right? Does that make sense? A year is too long to be a turning point. And there's this quote on the top of your agenda from Tony Robbins that I think is a very, very powerful quote. I want everybody just to look at it. Your whole life, that this is the quote, but you can put in here, your whole business can change in just one day. The day you decide what you're committed to having. So what you have to do is make the decision to change. I'm changing my business today and then every day you just have to take action on the commitment that you have made. The, the turning point happens one moment at a time. Does that make sense everybody? Yes. Okay. Now if you turn and then you unturn every day, you know, so I'm going to start exercising every day. You get up, no, nope. sit back down. You should, didn't make the turning point. Okay, the next morning you get up, no, I can't get up this day. There's no turning point made until you take action on the commitment you made. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and then I want you to write down this last thing. Uh, Michael asked what was the most important three things I learned at the Mike Ferry event. Uh, I've written down about 23 of them, but I'm going to give you one today because at that retreat, they had 700 one-on-one -on -one clients of the Mike Fur organization, one-on-one -on -one clients who pay at least $1,000 a month for coaching. There were over 700 there who had their best year ever in 2010. Wow. Okay, that had their best year ever. Their average, the, of the 700, their average per person productivity, which means average number of transactions closed per agent was over 55. Okay, in 2010. Not the greatest market, not the greatest economy, and yet 700, which is represents about half of the one-on-one -on -one clients that are in the Mike Ferry system right now, about half of them had their best year ever. So what does that tell us? Here's what it tells us. It's possible. Okay, It's possible for you to have your best year ever. So he talked about what are the keys, and he did this twice, and it came up, and I've if I were to take and say, what is the single most important thing that those 700 agents did? What was the number one most important thing? It would be this. And this is what I want you to write down. This is the last point today. And it's actually two points, but it's one thing. Okay, so everybody write down. I must manage my time. I must manage my time by following a productive schedule at all costs. That is the number, the, the single most important factor in those agents going having their best year ever. I must manage my time by following a productive schedule at all costs. And then number two, which goes right along with it, my schedule. is the most important part of my business. My schedule is the most important part of my business. Now what's the condition of that? Okay. You have to follow it. <laughs> okay. But my schedule is, Gary Keller calls it what? What does Keller Williams call it? Right. Having a schedule, setting a schedule. Have you heard the term time blocking? Time Isn't that a color wave term? Yeah, yeah. Time blocking? Sherry, is that? Sure, I thought it was a universal term. Oh, is it? I've never heard it before until I do it except color really? waves. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's universal, but time blocking. Scheduling time for the productive activities that I have to do every day, the income producing activities, that if you're going to achieve your goals, the single most important thing for you to achieve your goals is you have to have a schedule of when you're going to do the income producing activities. Now, if, if what you're doing is getting you everything you want, you're content and happy with what you got, 
and if you do it just by and it happens for you without a schedule, then you don't have to change. <coughs> okay? But what I asked you at the beginning is how many of you want to have a different business in 2011 than you had in 2010? For things to get better, you have to change. You have to get better. And the number one most important part of your business, if you're going to make that happen, is having a productive schedule that you follow at all costs. Now, we're going to be talking more about that uh, as we go forward here this month in January of really getting more and more productive on your schedule and how I, how I learn to master my time. Because watch this. The economy takes, has taken a lot of stuff away from us. Would you agree with that? Yes mm -hmm. or no? Yes. Everybody say yes. 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 Has it taken away your time? No. 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 Time is still a commodity you have just as much of as you've always had. So the key is learning how to take advantage of that time and use it in a way that will maximize return. Make sense? Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, have a phenomenal week. Thank you. Thank you.